Hi, I'm Amber, I'm a top girl, and I'm a sophomore. Hi, I'm Anlon, I'm a sophomore, and I'm a back spot. A normal practice for us is we, everyone arrives and gets there early, and we set up mats and everything and roll them out. And then everyone collectively gets on the mat, stretches, gets warmed up how they feel best fit. And then once our coach gets here, we'll usually start with like individuals, which is like partner stunts. And we'll do that. We'll do like game day if we have a game that week. Or if we have a routine, then we'll do like nationals and like competition stuff. Another thing that we'll do is Sometimes we'll tumble, do standing and running tumbling, and then yeah, the practice usually ebbs and flows from what we have planned for our next event and stuff like that. The difference between cheer and other sports, I would say, is it's not just about competing and it's not just about practices. We do so much within the school. And even if we do, like when we do compete, we only get one chance and that's it, that's your place. And even at games, like if we mess up, if something falls, everyone remembers it and everyone like will ask about it. Whereas like in other sports, if someone misses a goal or someone misses the ball, then it's just kind of like the talk for like five minutes and then it's over. A lot of teams have coverage like helmets and stuff like that. And we really only have our uniforms and that's about it. I mean, if someone hits the ground, we're not protected by pads and everything. It's really just what our best reaction is to things fall. I mean, yeah. The transition from rookie to returner has definitely been different. Like when you come in, you just know everyone, like it's less stressful, I feel. And yeah. <laughs> A way that I've stepped up, I think, is I've had more confidence in like being able to say, if I think that there's something that someone could fix, I could give them a correction or especially like being able to like talk to my other teammates about what they think I'm doing wrong or what I could do better. I have more confidence to ask. My biggest struggle within cheer, I would say, is just being hard on myself like skills wise, because I always want to make sure I'm doing things right. And like if something falls, I'm like the first to blame myself. But yeah, I really need to stop saying yeah. Amber's a really good top girl. She's such a good leader for all the underclassmen. She's really hardworking and motivated. I'm so lucky to have her as my best friend. My biggest struggle is probably self-confidence with my skills and making sure that I know what I can do and instead of freaking out before I do something. Annalyn's really talented. She's always the first person to like say after practice, like if she say like touched down in her standing tuck, most people would just like take a lap, try it again, and by the end of practice, they'll just go home or whatever. But Annalyn is always the last person here, first person in. So she's really just like inspires like me and the rest of the team just to do better. My favorite part about Mama's Cheer is just honestly just being with everyone. And at practice, we all kind of go through it together. So we all can like relate to each other. And it's just a lot of fun at games and at cheering them on. We all just go through it together. My favorite part about Mammoth Cheer is because I'm so far away, like abnormally far away, it's nice to kind of have cheer as a place that I'm comfortable in. And I definitely have friends that I wouldn't get just being here at school. I also think it helps me. I know I said that a struggle for me is self-confidence, but it's helped me as a person gain some self-confidence in a way too, which has helped me more than anywhere I've ever been. So yeah. This is how legends are made.